What's up guys, Eterno here and today we're playing Senna with her newest skin called Prestige Lunar Eclipse Senna. Let's start with this. And Q first. Right, let's take a look at the recall of the skin. Each stone a sentinel. The weapon seems pretty similar to her true damage. Prestige version. I expected something else. Also the colors like. Sure the weapon is great. But the model itself not really shiny. You can tell me your thoughts in the comments, what do you think about the scan, and if you enjoyed this you can like and subscribe. Alright. So let's see how it goes. I'm using Grasp. I'm playing against something like... Eighteen. It's important to push your enemies. Because when you push, Caitlyn is not able to make use of her range. You can queue through minions to extend the range. I like to also end queue. Each ult attack reduces the cooldown of queue by one second. Like you can see now. Is that? Hey, let's go clean. I've seen too much of this. Not really able to collect this. Oh, Dark Harvest, yeah. Pretty standard. Oh, she got closer. Let's go. I like the start. Yeah, I took Barrier because seeing the enemy team comp it seems like the best choice. Uh, you can play with Kraken or Eclipse and I feel like for the enemy team comp it's better to just go for Eclipse and especially with such gold cap I can really get a power spike item this one Oh yeah, look at this. Seems pretty dark. Kill. Oh, action. Alright, so W roots. Of course it collides with minions, so you have to get past through minions first if you want to root your enemies. With a single W, you are able to root multiple targets. So, for example, if I hit Caitlyn with W, soon it launches and it can root Lux if she stays close to Caitlyn within that circle range. He grants camouflage. By the time I'm done here, dying will be the easy part. Okay. I wanted to damage enemies with Q, extending the range, but she failed. You can also use your trinket and Q to extend the range as a finisher. Also when collecting these Missed stacks. I'm gonna ward. Be bot, okay. You can queue the control ward. I'm not gonna contest because I'm not sure about Listen's position. He also grants movement speed. The movement speed bonus scales with ability power. The more ability power you have, the faster you can move within your E. Alright, I'm gonna E like this and we are safe. Yeah. There's Cutler. He's gonna try Raptors probably. I guess. Let's go. From pressure. Pain doesn't own me. Close. So yeah, I can tell you that playing Senna from behind is a fun experience, but when you're ahead, it's so fun, like, 
really recommend. So, in order to have more games where you are having an advantage, you should be playing aggressively from the start. Of course, you should do this with your head, like... You shouldn't randomly just engage for the sake of it. You can kill a turret too, when pushing. Just try to find your chances, especially if the enemy wasted the ability. Try to queue in line to heal your ally. Just to be efficient with that. I'm keeping my W for someone. Okay. Good smite. It makes sense to max Q first. Oh, heal already, what? I think this is a good time to just back now. I remember my lessons and the people who taught them. Oh, she got rooted. I could hear the sound. Alright, then I'm gonna stay. Yeah, I have decided to stay because I see Wukong. So, I think, yeah, I'm just letting my jungler know. This can work. Getting a bit closer, so Lux is more focused on trying to poke me. And now... Been patient with this. Gonna kill Wukong. Yeah. And sadly... Had no range. I had Barry ready. Yeah, it turned out to be a good choice to stay. And now I'm gonna back. Is she trying to cancel my recall once more? Probably. But she she is too late. Enemy rampage. An enemy has okay, let's go like this. And well. If you want, if you have these items, you can already turn your trinket into red. I just like having additional stuff worth for moments when I really need it to extend the range of my Q. And especially with control wards, I'm gonna just keep like this for this game, especially when we are ahead. But for most of your games, you can just get red trinket now after completing this support item. I see myself in them. In the Alright, as for ultimate, you deal physical damage to all enemy champions hit and allied champions hit in a wider area receive a shield. So you can ult anywhere on the map and you have to pay attention because you can save your allies or finish someone off like this. I just wanted to bait her E because I kind of expected her to cast it. And as you collect mist, you gain additional effects, like for now I have additional attack damage, range, then later you get critical strike chance. When you really have lots of stacks, you gain life still as well. Okay, so let's go with ult. Ult is a Chalin ability, so it's worth casting before getting ground controlled. Or someone applies CC. The mist is not my enemy. Cast it Q through minion, but the hitbox is really thin. An enemy has been slain. If you're here for them, you're here for me. Got her, let's go. Yeah. And well, in such situations, you should keep auto attacking your enemy 
to have your queue faster. Like I was trying to auto and I needed one second for the queue and I would save my ADC probably. An enemy has been slain. Ah, I won't win this sub. Yeah, because Akshan has 6 kills and he completed his mythic item, so I shouldn't try. I think it was worth trying, but actually that's what I expected because I knew that he was so fat. And I think Lux also helped, yeah, if not Lux. Everything that's happened, I, just I could consider killing reduction item for the enemy team comp. And it will help me against Caitlyn, Listen, and Akshan. Uder also has Conqueror, so yeah, it makes sense to finish this. I'm gonna finish this after Mythic Item, probably. And usually you want these boots. It also helps against Slows, so for example against Lux. What? I messed up. I could have dodged Lux. I didn't expect them to do the Drake actually. It happens. Could have just gone to this side. Had such a good start though. Alright, I'm gonna switch the trinket now. Forgive. No one else has to. He's scared. My blood still flows. An enemy has been slain. Be the same. We got her, but she's too far away. Fear moves like a current. Turret plating. Alt won't be able to finish her off yet. I don't have to press Alt actually. Just for it. Just keep in mind that you can be heavily focused and. With Senna you have to be patient and cautious because if you don't pay attention to your positioning you can just die. I have Barry and Grasp making me tankier but still it's up to some point and that's it I still have to be aware. Ah, could have waited with. Sana is usually hated, so I got focused first. If they can finish off action, it's worth it. Also, the fight wasn't that necessary because there was no objective. Still, I see my teammates took kills and... Uh, that's when I expected tons of damage, I pressed out and it was okay. But sadly it wasn't enough to survive. Now I have it a bit easier with my mythic item granting shield. Light should teach us not to fear the dark. Okay, now W max second. Need to deal more damage. Be free. It's harder to hold a hand than hold a gun. Oh he got baited. <laughs> for the living, for the dead. I like Sana support because I can deal a lot of damage. Let's push. That's the best thing we can do. I think he can just go there. And we're gonna force our enemies to come bot that way. When they see us pushing. So 
At the best they can just take this threat. Actually unlikely, so they are wasting time, I believe, and we should push. And yeah, I can just... It's because they trusted Uder to, de to deal with us, and he actually didn't. There was not much he can do. Oh, I didn't need heal, but okay, I appreciate. I'll get us through this. This mistake occurs very often, like when allies, I mean enemies, relied on a single champion outpushing and he died. So then that creates a problem and we punish their mistakes. That's the miss. Okay. Oh, I still got hit by that. You can immediately get rid of the shield by pressing W first on the scuttler. And I can say that. As you can see, I'm dealing a decent amount of damage myself as a support. At some point, I'll be able to 1v1 Caitlyn. Maybe I'm already able to. Ready, guys. By the time I'm done here, done. Ah, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. We can still go for the rift, so let's go. I have my ult ready to help. While seeing Sion's HP, I focused enemies. Sana has a longer channeling time than Lux. Wow, the flash. Why to this side? Okay. I could collect stack or not. Oh, let's try. Nice rotation bot. Rift is about to disappear, so yeah, good time to take it. You are more Each stone a sentinel. Shut down. I just finished Mana Moon and now I can get Executioner. Like it's not priority, especially when we are ahead, where to finish other items. It's very unlikely for them Gun's to take Baron. Zero chances. A horizon nice. Hunted by the forces of darkness? Okay, I can make this work. Yeah. Get baited. Wow, that other is tilted. Let go. Your turret has been destroyed. I remember my nightmares. I showed a bit. Okay, and for situations like this. Let's 
So in the middle I hit enemies. Outside of it I still damaged. I mean I still provided the shoot. I'm damaged. Okay. If you're only dead, don't you feel lucky? Oh yeah we can do Baron. Because Sion is probably able to handle inhibitor himself. Okay, there's Rift. Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. With Sana, Baron is slightly easier. You can heal your allies, just stay in line like this. I can make a trap here. It's always dark on the horizon. If you only have a He trapped himself, alright. Death is drawn to life. Just to be sure, I've seen too much of this. I cast that mainly but for civil. You can just out like this, find something, some targets to get your queue faster and queue again. Well, Caitlyn is not able to ult me because I'm in camouflage. See the focus? Your team has destroyed an inhibitor. <laughs> okay, it was my risk because I knew I had Eclipse and the shoot. I could have done Q. I was just hoping that I s get away. Save distance, but I didn't. And yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you learned something about Senna. You can tell me in the comments what do you think about this Prestige skin and what do you think about the gameplay. Also, be sure to check out my other videos and my stream. See you next time.